Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. This is Jen, aka Damn Queen 2020. I'm just doing a small little live. Maybe people will show up, maybe they won't. Let's see what I'm doing. Please be able to. Hello. Can you done with painting with Nicole? More people in here. This is just going to be a short little live because I know other people are going to go live a little bit. Thank you, Deborah. I don't know how many people are actually going to show up for the. It's like my virtual birthday party. <laughs> it's a birthday. It's like my birthday in real life. Not many people show up. It's okay though. And if you guys are wondering what I'm working on, yeah, that's true. The reason why I went live because I know some people go live later on. So I'll get some hashtag replays. Yeah, but if they don't, they don't. I mean, it's all good with me. Thank you, Color and Chat with Joanne. Thank you. On the big number 38, or not 38, 36 today. 36. I'm definitely with this disease I'm being diagnosed with, I'm feeling 36. I'm feeling older than 36. Good morning. <laughs> I'm a baby. 
I'm my mama's baby. I know that much. I'm the youngest in my family. I'm the baby in the family. I definitely don't feel like a baby. Like, I'm being diagnosed with a nerve disease. So, some days. I am working on fire and ice. I'll show you a picture of it. Um, I don't have the picture with me. I'll show you what it is. But it's called Fire and Ice. Yeah, it's definitely colorful. It's definitely, definitely colorful. Well, it's very much blue and orange. That's not really that colorful, really. Blue and orange. And there's a couple of reds. But these these are um I think these are crystal. Nope, oh, these are ABs. These ABs did not come with the kit. Aww. What kind of doggies you got? Oh, I bet they do. They walk me. Don't be sitting there talking to this woman. Walk me. Ooh. Yeah, mine's gonna look different than anyone else's. Um, very nice. Oh my goodness, girl, how do you walk those dogs? Those dogs, you don't walk those dogs, they walk you. Unless they're well trained. I mean, that's that size dog, you have to have it trained. Yep, they walk you, I bet. Unless if you have them trained. My mom has a um, chocolate labradoodle that I help train. And yes, they're big dogs. So your doggies are white, huh? They definitely have to be trained. If I had them, they'd be they'd be well trained. For one, I like I love training dogs. I trained my mom's dog. Okay, check them out. Big white dogs. One. Okay, I'll try. I'll check it out. Nice. So they don't really walk you then. You walk them if they're, they're trained. Yes, I agree with that. They're big doggies. They're probably just big, big babies. I love dogs. Like I said, my mom owns a chocolate lab doodle that I help train. He's a good boy. What he wants to be. Well, you go walk your doggies and we'll see you around.
<laughs> oh, I love dogs. I used to have a coon hound, but I ended up taking him back to the Humane Society because we could not break him of being having anxiety issues when we left the house and he tore up our house. So he had to go back to the Humane Society. We didn't have a choice. After he decided to break a picture frame and get glass everywhere, I'm surprised he didn't get hurt. Oh, happy birthday to your daughter, Deva. Um, my ex stepdaughter's birthday is tomorrow. She's five years younger than me. So she'll be thirty one. Yeah, she'll be thirty one tomorrow. Jo tell Jojo we said happy birthday. If she even likes being called that anymore. How old is your, your daughter going to be? Deborah? So if she's older, she probably doesn't like being called JoJo anymore. So thirty-three. So she's two years younger than me. Well, three years actually. I'm sorry, three years younger than me. Okay, well, some, some people don't like their nicknames when they were younger. I have a cousin that doesn't like being called what we used to call her. Now she likes being called by her full name. It's like, okay. Hmm. See, me, I don't like my full name. I don't like being called Jennifer. I like being called Jen. J E N N. Because when I used to be called Jennifer, it was because I was in trouble. I mean, people at my work even call me Jen. They call me Jennifer. Thank you, Maria. Marie. Marie. No, it's Marie. It does seem like a cool nickname. So how is everybody this beautiful morning? Me, I've just gotten out of bed. I threw some clothes on and went live. After the live, I'm going to go jump in the shower and put on my birthday clothes. My birthday outfit? Maybe. <laughs> Same here, Deborah. I don't drink coffee very often. Well, I wish I had some mocha frappe, but I don't. Oh, 
and I'm still waking up. So I'm drinking a Diet Coke. You don't like yourself on caffeine? Well, I could not function without caffeine. I have ADHD and the caffeine is my The caffeine is my um medicine, I guess you can call it. Self medicated. Yeah. Um, I'm already done with the orange side. I'm getting there on the blue side too. I mean I'm trying to get this A B done so I can go to the next. I did a lot of A Bs and crystals in the same the same it's definitely blinged out. Yes, Deborah. I'd single place every single one of my diamond paintings. Yes. I tried the um multiplacer. I straightened out more diamonds than I placed. Well, I can't really say that. I di I had to to straighten out every diamond that I placed with it. Multiplacer. So it's not fast for me to do it just to do it this way. I single place every one of my diamonds. Why well, it takes me so long, but I'm not in a I'm not in a race. Yeah. I'm hanging mine on my wall. Cause just too gorgeous to not hang. Plus it's my favorite color. My favorite color is blue. Any color blue is my favorite color blue, but my most favorite is um Sapphire. Garbage man's here. I live in an apartment complex and this garbage truck comes like every other day to empty the garbage can. And I just couldn't get it a hand of it. I it for a while and Every time I place the, the diamonds down, I would have to go over and straighten out. And I thought it was more time consuming than just placing them on one by one. But yeah, I agree. It takes practice to get it perfect. Miss Coffee, she does the 17 place. So I'm like, how the heck do you do that, girl? There was a hundred place for her, but she would she would be the one that does that uses it. The only canvas you can really do a hundred place on would be like Nightbringer.
Yeah. <clears throat> I'm happy with my one placer. Alright, let's I'm going with this color, guys. Yay. Slide. I have a couple more over here that I can put down. Ooh, 11 days? Well, you were on fire. You know, you were probably multi placed in. You guys get to see some more crystals. Oh, four hours a day. Yeah, that would definitely get it done faster. That would definitely get it done fast. You're working on it four hours a day. I'm putting back the AB that I just worked on. And now we're working on it with a crystal. Oh, I just dropped a couple, I think, too. Ooh, those ones are shiny. Shine bright like a diamond. Shine bright like a diamond. You know what she said? Like Miss Coffee says, if one shines, we all shine. Shine bright like a diamond. Um, mine, I have. Um, the ABs I'm using is 742, 946, 3325, 3371, which is this brown over here. Here, I'll show you. These right here are all AB. And that's part of the wolf, the orange wolf. Um, oops, I just dimmed it, there we go. And then I'm also using 3843 and 3846. Those are all ABs. Crystals, I'm using 307, 820, 947, 3350, and 7. Seven, uh, seven forty is another AB, and then I have nine nine five, which I'm using right now. This thing is definitely blinged out. I think I might want a little overboard, but I actually think it's kind of gorgeous. Even my fiance, he looked at it and goes, uh, "I think you might be going overboard with the shimmer and shine, but." I mean, I've asked many, many times, is there such thing as too many ABs and crystals? And everybody tells me, you're talking to diamond painting painters. So no, there is no such thing as too much. I was like, okay. Oh, this thing is gorgeous. Exactly. 
And there might be somebody who says, hey, I want that painting, and I want it exactly the way you did it. I want you to redo what you just did. There are times that people do that. And every painting I do so far, since I started personalizing it and making it different, I always bling it out. The beast is going to be an exception. He's going to have a bees and crystals in him. But I'm probably going to do it the way Miss Coffee does it. So it's not so blinged out. What she does is she mixes the ABs and the regular drills together. So you don't know where the ABs are going to be. It's going to be in that color, but it's not going to be all that color. One large copy is enough. <laughs> Hi, everybody, whoever has came in here while I was talking. Hello, welcome to my live. This is my birthday live. Today is my birthday. Um, yeah, I am working on Fire and Ice, if anybody wants to know what I'm working on. It's a fun canvas to work on. Especially with how blinged out it's going to be. I'm hoping to have this section right here done today and start on this section over here. I don't know if you guys can see where my hand went. But... Thank you, Christy. Oh, and thank you, Christy, for the Amazon gift card. I really appreciate it. Very true, Deborah, but that's okay. You'll keep me company while I diamond paint. I don't know if you're diamond painting, but if you are, I'm keeping you company. Not one talking. I mean, people do like to just turn on alive and work and lurk. Diamond painting and enjoying the conversation. And if they want to join in, they can. But a lot of people do go, like me, I go to lives. I'll say hi when I get into live, but most of the time I'm sitting down, sitting back, listening to them conversate, and just down and the whole time. I don't really comment. <laughs> now, we have, now we have Christy to join in the conversation. I don't know if any of you guys follow 
Billy, but let me know when it gets close to his time to go live so that way I can get off and he can have the have the stage, so to speak. I want to make sure I don't go into his. Ooh, fun. Cleaning a bathroom is not fun. Oh, I bet it does. I gotta clean my, um, the funnest room in the house, my craft room. I gotta do that today. I gotta vacuum it. I got some high up chairs on the floor that need to be vacuumed up so we don't get any ants. We don't want any ants. And I gotta clean that table off and Straighten things up in there. What are you doing, Zozo? Sorry, I was talking my to my dragon. I got a bear dragon over here behind me. He's my baby. be fun to see the the buffalo bills go to the zoo. I am someone but my my teams didn't go to the Super Bowl. One was the Cleveland Browns, which actually went to their second playoff game and lost. But it was a really good game. I mean it it was an on, on the edge of your seat kind of game. Um, the Indianapolis Colts, we went to our first game. I think we lost our first playoff game. But it's been since 1982, I believe it was, since the Browns have been to a playoff game. So <laughs> that was a big deal. My mom and stepdad are huge Brown fans. Yeah, that is kind of funny. I'm allergic to cleaning a bathroom. Me, I'm allergic. Thing is, I don't have to vacuum anymore. Woohoo! I have a thing called, well, we nicknamed him, we named him Dusty. But, um, he's a robot vacuum that vacuums my house every day at 11 a.m. If you hear something go beep, 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 you know it's him starting up.
Ah, the Cleveland Browns? Yeah, a lot of people are rooting for them. They were the underdog. It would have been nice to see them go to the Super Bowl, but they didn't make it. And that's okay. They they got pretty far this year. A few years ago, they had a season where they didn't win, not a game. They didn't even win one game. They're there. They were actually they're in the Guinness and World Records for the. I think it's the only team to never win a game during that season. I think. That was a few years ago. This guy wanted to have a parade to celebrate their season of no wins. But he didn't get to have the parade. I think the mayor of Cleveland stopped him from having it. Said, you're not going to make us look more foolish than we already do. So, I'll be rooting for the Bills. Oh, Bills. We totally, un- we totally understand that the Bills are more important than us. <laughs> Almost done with this color, and then I'll go to the next color. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, I think I'm done with this color. All right, so let's see that color. Green 15, GB 15. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Well, this was before the virus. That this was a couple years ago. But yes, due to the virus, there was no parade. Macy's parade went on, but it was short and sweet. Um, let's see what I want to do. Let's do that one. 15. Now I'm going to a regular thrill, guys. I'm having a hard right time opening this now. Thank you. Okay. Get the language, guys. I just. I spilled my crystals. It's really hard to find when there's nothing but crystals on this freaking canvas. All right, I got him. So far, so good. My fiance woke up this morning and wished me a happy birthday before he went to work. So far, so good. It's it's going all right. I'm going to my mom's for dinner. She's ordering pizza, and I'm up and gives at her house for my birthday. And then, depending on how my fiance feels. He may be taking me out tonight. I'm hoping he does, but I'm not going to hold my breath because I don't think he will because he'll be too tired. 
they'll want to go home. So I may be sitting here tonight and watching a bunch of lives on my birthday. So if you see me in a live tonight, Oh, I bet they did. Um, so if you see me in a vlog tonight, wish me happy birthday. I'm hoping then to make her uh, live. She's having a celebrity, well not a celebrity, but an artist on her live tonight. I think it's Lizzie Falcon. Okay. Yeah, I might be too. I don't know what time I'll be back home. I kind of hope I'm home in time to, to see Miss Jennifer's, but I might be out celebrating my birthday. We'll see, though. Her, her life is at 9 o'clock. So we'll see. My fiance is gonna be back to work tomorrow, so I think at two o'clock or three thirty or something like that. But you gotta go his medicine more. Oh, that would be awesome to have her say happy birthday to me. I might have to come in just for her to do that. I've actually seen Lizzie Falcon live before. I don't remember whose live it was in. That did in Lizzie Falcon. And she like told us what what and told about her, her website and gave it a little Yeah, it would be. But I don't know if she would or not. And after this live, I'm going to figure out how to put my links up um, in the description. I'll put my all in there if anybody wants to send me a little birthday gift. If you want to. But you don't have to. You definitely don't have to. Yes, Lizzie does have her own channel on YouTube. I think she was just starting her YouTube channel when she did this live with, I don't remember who it was worth, but um, she went from like five subscribers up to like two or three hundred within a minute. I was sitting there watching her channel just her subscriber count just go up and up and up and up and up and up and up. But yes, Lizzie does have her own channel. I'm not sure how many subscribers she has now. She'll probably have more tonight.
And I don't think she has very much content on her channel either. But she might more. She might have more now, but. I haven't checked her channel out for a while, so I don't know. Ooh, got yourself a new planner. Yay for a planner. I need to use my more. <laughs> I did write some things down in it, in it yesterday. Um, I got some good news yesterday. It was, I don't know if you consider it running the lottery or losing the lottery. It depends on how you look at it. But um, my uh, neurologist, that last time I went and saw him, which was about two weeks ago, I go and see him on Tuesday to get my results. What's he doing, bud? I go get my results for my skin biopsy. But um, last time I went and saw him, I mentioned that we were talking about me going to the Mayo Clinic there in Minnesota. Well, yesterday I got a phone call. And they accepted me to go to, because you have to be accepted to go to Mayo Clinic. You can't just drive up there and you can't just make an appointment and go up there and say, hey, here I am. Check me out. No, you have to be accepted. Like when I called, they're like, well, we need to send you, we need to email you this form and this paperwork that you have to fill out. And then if the neuro, the neurology department decides they want to see you, we will contact you and let you know what the deal is. Well, yesterday when I got that phone call, I was like, well, I was kind of waiting to see if you guys called me. And she's like, well, here's your phone call. So I got more information my mom's going to take me because I can't really drive that far because of the neurology, neurological. Issues I have taught me to drive for a distance. Um, she said it was more like running the lottery, but I don't know how many applications they get in a day. But she said only like 10% get through to a, an appointment. So I consider myself, I won basically, I should go play the lottery now. <laughs> that's, that's a pretty good, I mean, those are small odds to get a phone call. <laughs> nice, Deborah. Got enough stickers to last five plus years, huh? I would love to get those weather stamps. That would be pretty cool. Or just like a weather stickers. Write down the weather for each and every day. Does anybody know if Nana's going live today? I think she goes after Billy. Her finger doesn't look very good. She's going to have to go back to the hospital again. Her finger does not look good. I'm sorry to say, but she may end up losing her finger. 
I have only one thumb, so I know exactly how she feels if she loses it. Okay, I didn't know. I wasn't 100% sure if she was going to log or not. My thumb got ripped off by a lead rope hooked to a horse. I always say it was a horse accident, but people are like, oh my god, a horse bit your thumb off? No, the horse did not bite my thumb off. What happened was the horse was hooked to the lead rope, and the lead rope ripped my thumb off, basically. Well... There you go. That's how much thumb I have left. That happened when I was 18. Hey, okay. it's all good. I'm used to it now. I mean, most people don't even know I'm, miss I'm missing it. Most people are like, you're missing a thumb? Yeah, I've been missing a thumb for a couple years now. Make it sound like such a big deal. I mean, what do you do? I'm missing a thumb. Yeah. <laughs> People that have known me for years don't realize I'm missing a thumb. Like, wow, you're missing a thumb? Yes, I am. YouTube and cleaning. Well, that's useful. I'm out of this color now. Hopefully, I make sure. 33, 33. I don't have that one. Maybe oh, it's crystal. Hopefully I don't run out of this color because this I left in this color. Hopefully I don't need any more of it. <laughs> Got to go on. Um, Got diamonds. Let's see if anyone has it. Almost done with it, this diamond painting. Me with, I really don't know what it helps me with. <laughs> Trying to get more organized. I need to use it more. I thought it was going to help me with keeping you know, meal preparation, but it hasn't really helped. And tonight I know I'm having pizza. For my birthday. I don't know what we're going to have tomorrow night. I was supposed to work last night, but I got sent home early because we were not, we had too many, too many people and not enough guests to keep us busy, I guess. So they sent me home. You can go home. <laughs> okay. Came home and done and painted the rest of the night. Nice.
Hey, Christy or Deborah, can when you guys keep the chat company? I think Christy, you're a mod. Um, I think I have to run to the bathroom. I have to run to the back to the restroom. Okay, I'll be right back. Sometimes I let me stand on my feet. Hey, you hit crazy diamonds. Happy Friday and happy birthday. Yep. Yeah. 
It's my birthday. Yeah, this is so weird. It was blue and it was on the 14th. I'm sorry about that. Sorry for your loss there, Deborah. I know how it feels to lose somebody. It sucks. I have a friend right now. Going on for a pretty long time. The dragon that sits behind me actually came from him. He's a he was a breeder, a bearded dragon breeder. And his mom's in, his mom was in the hospital. They found a mass on her lung and they did a biopsy and found out it was cancer. So she went ahead and said she's done. She signed herself out of the hospital. And she's still really, really sick. So he's thinking it could be days before she passes. Unfortunately, I mean, when people when they find out they have cancer, they're like, no need in trying to beat this COVID if I have cancer. I mean, I think she's a fighter, but we'll have to wait and see. I mean, only God knows when it's your turn to go time to go up to heaven. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of purple, a lot of orange in this. Orange and reds and purple. I knew there was gonna be blue blue and orange, but I never knew about red and purple. Um, my friend just lost yesterday had a euthanized her dragon, which I've known her for a while. When I heard about that, I started blowing my eyes out because, I mean, I've known her for a while too. And my heart went out to her. I'm like, I, I didn't call. I instead of posting on the post that they had on Facebook. I called her and I talked to her daughter for a little bit. I was like, what, what happened? And she said that the dragon has been declining quite a bit since like last May, June. Oh yeah, th this, this COVID thing is gonna be, it's gonna be in our history books. If we ever have, if we have kids or our kids have kids, they're gonna learn about this this year in history. And um, Rebecca did this year in this year in history yesterday, and ended up being last year, a year from yesterday, that it was the first of COVID in the United States. So a year ago on the twenty first of January.
it's never hard to lose an uh, to lose a family member. Seven and seven. I'm getting done with this this section, guys. Yay! Not done with it yet. Hopefully, I'll be done with it soon. I'm getting tired of reaching over. <laughs> I might flip it around and work on it upside down. This might be easier. This is like a bluish purple. It's seven ninety seven, I think. Yeah, seven ninety seven is this DMC color. <laughs> There's crystals around it too. This is going to be so pretty, guys. I don't know if this would be my favorite Dumbin, but it might be a close, uh, it might be in, in the running for my favorite Dumb painting. My favorite one, which I didn't do very much customizing one in it, would probably be Lady Liberty. I still have that one in my stash that it's finished. I just and then my other favorite one would be um a mother's love. That's one of my favorite ones. That one it has a lot of a lot of dry tears on it. Exactly. We actually lost more people with this COVID virus than we have in a world war. We lost more people in one day than we lost in 9-11. I mean, everybody was still sad on 9-11, but mom's like, why are we so sad about one day? We lost Probably about three times the amount that we lost on 9 11. Because it's a day to remember, Mom. It's 9 11. I mean, the day our, the United States got, got a terrorist attack. But then again, I think it's like January 11th or something like that when those people barricaded into the Capitol. Yeah, that was that was pretty crazy too. And I think three people died that day. I think the flags are still half staff from from that attack. Oh, it was January 6th. I was close, though. So that day is going to go down in history for, for that. Sorry, guys, I'm sniffling. I need to put my nose. I'll be right back. I need to put my mouse.
All right. I'm back. Yeah. I don't know what's going on. I don't know. I'm not sick, sick. I just have a cold. He's got the sniffles, and some people don't like me sniffling, so I gotta go take care of it. Once I get done with this live, I gotta go jump in the shower. And... I guess get my birthday outfit on. I already have a shirt. I just need to figure out what I'm gonna wear with the shirt, like what pants. And I think I have the shoes picked out. Dang, girl. I still gotta get me a, my flea shot. I don't know if I really want to. By this time last year, I already had my flu shot. I normally get it like in October. But this year, I haven't really been to the family doctor because they're not seeing anybody, like physically seeing anybody. They're only doing virtual. I haven't been to the doctors this year, just not really my family doctor. When I get paid next Friday, I'm going to go get tested for the antibodies. For the COVID. If I have them, I might go get plasma. That is so true, Deborah. That is so true. Nobody just says, hey, I'm going to give you a shot. Yay. I'm so excited. I get to be poked on. Yay. Well, trust me, I'm not going to like going to the Mayo Clinic. I'm, I'm nervous about the Mayo Clinic. I'm nervous about what they're going to do to me. I'm going to be poked and prodded and stabbed and... Let's try this medicine. Let's try that medicine. They're probably going to try and put me on Lyrica. And I'm going to tell them uh, of my dead body. Because a lot of people have side effects to Lyrica that can be life threatening. And I don't want to take that chance. Sorry. Because Lyrica is used for nerve pain. But now I'm on Gabapentin, which I need to eat something and take some Gabapentin because I'm just going to get itchy and scratchy again. Yeah. I just need to get over there and have the nurse give me a shot. I also need to go on Monday and get blood work done. Thank you. Hey, Gail. Thank you. You have a good day, Christy. I'll see you in another live probably tonight if I'm not out partying.
I have to see, wait and see how my fiance feels when he gets home. One more Fridays are hard for him because that's usually a freight day. So how is everyone this beautiful day? I don't know if it's beautiful out, but it's probably cold. Just heard that as my belly. My belly's making noise because it's hungry. Today in Missouri, huh? Uh, I think it's supposed to get colder here. This morning it was like 40, like 30 degrees. My fiance lifted it up and it was supposed to get colder as the day went on. We'll see. Usually on my birthday, there's a bunch of snow on the ground, but not this year. This year has been totally different. Where are you located at, Deborah? I'm in Indiana. I'm not sure what the high is here today. My fiance said at four o'clock this morning we were already on at our high. The woman said it was going to be all day. You know, she's going to keep on dropping and dropping and dropping and dropping. Oh, you're in New York? Oh, yeah, the bills. Yep. Yeah, New York bills. So do you like the Giants? I think that's the baseball team. The New York Giants. No, that's not baseball. That's football. I'm tired. Can't you tell? The New York Yankees is the basketball, baseball, the, the, the baseball team. Hey, but Lazy Crafts, I'm doing good. So far, so good. I can't complain. I'm here talking to you lovely ladies. Ladies and gents, if there's any gentlemen in here. Oh, okay. See, I'm not very good with sports. New York Yankees is the base the baseball team. You love the Yankees.
Well, I hope you have a good day, but but lazy. I'm guessing you're a night you're a night shifter, so go home and get some sleep. Yeah, I would I would have slept in today, but I didn't have to work last night. Worked like an hour and then they sent me home. There was really nobody there. Not very many people go out on Thursday night, I guess. Or tonight it might be busy there. Or as we like to call it popular. All right, next color. Next color is going to be you guys are wondering what I'm working on I'm working on fire and ice for anybody that came in and wants to know what I'm working on it's called fire and ice There's like a little snapping noise sometimes. I know I'm not using the that one. Just kind of crap on me. Sorry, I got played. That would be my I'm still here, I'm just trying to I'm still here. That just scared the shit out of me because I wasn't expecting my um my vacuum is working now, guys. If you're here earlier, you know what I'm talking about. I have a I have a robotic vacuum. What I guess. Yes, I have a I have a robotic vacuum that runs every day around eleven o'clock in the morning. So it must mean it's eleven o'clock in the morning now. Mm. 
Not sure if you guys can hear that, but you probably can. He's a good little vacuum. He vacuums my house every day. All I have to do is make sure I clean him out every other day or so. Clean out the dirt out of him. I'm done with this color now. I'm going to do P. P, 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 It's okay, Deborah. I had to go for a second myself because I had to go close doors for my vacuum to clean. He's kind of annoying at times. I have a uh, pretty cool robotic vacuum that it's kind of like a um. What's that one vacuum call that people? Good. He's an off brand now. My mom got him for my fiance for Christmas. Yeah, people were looking at him, my family, like my niece and nephew were looking at him like, You're excited about a vacuum? Like, once you get old enough, to under when you get older, you'll understand. And it's not just any vacuum, it's a a robotic vacuum. Okay, but crazy. I mean, you gotta do what you gotta do, right? You can work and lurk. Or, no, 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 bro, crazy. You're crazy diamonds, I'm sorry. I saw the crazy part and I didn't think. I'm sorry. All right, I'm almost done with this section, guys. Yay. And I'm off to the next section. But yes, you can definitely work and lurk. I can see my chair now. I mean, this vacuum does a really good job at vacuuming my house each and every day. Well, I'm gone if my fiance is not here. Well, if he doesn't, if he goes with me, I'll have to. So I'll be gone for about five to seven days, getting medical, being seen by the Mayo Clinic.
I guess it's something to be excited about, but then again, I don't know. I'm probably going to make the appointment in, in April because we don't want to travel in the snow and ice and all that. We'll have to drive because it's, I mean, yeah. It is 11.06 a.m. here, guys. Yeah, I'll probably get a lot of hashtag replay. That's okay. I kind of figured when I go really, when I go live really, really late, I don't get very many people in here either. I used to go pretty late on Tuesdays, but. I just go whenever I can. There you go. Peas are done. Now it's time to do this little 498, which is seven. I am in. Indiana. No, that's not Central Time Zone. That's Indianapolis is. Um, that would be over in Illinois. You're thinking, in Illinois, it's Central Time. Time zone changes. Yes, I went over to. Nope, I'm still in. No birds, that's not central time. But I guess I have this piece of plastic that doesn't want to come off my oh well. I'll rip it off another time. Not today, Satan. It's okay. Yep. Now, if you go more west, you'll hit central time, but where I'm at, it's still eastern. No big deal. It's hard to understand the map because I'm not very good with, with uh, time zones. Never have been. Almost done with this section, guys. And then on to the next one. Which would be more blue, because this is the last bit of the um the fire part. And then one to the ice. I 
I guess when I get done with this section, I'll probably get off of here because I need it. Get more motivated. So I hope you guys all have a great day. My day is going well, pretty, you know, it's going well so far. Hopefully it can only get better, hopefully, because, you know, it is my birthday, so. You too, Deborah. You have a great day and don't don't clean too hard. I had to clean up my kitchen some. Probably gonna go and scrub my bathroom floor. Thank you, Gail. I'm not done with this section yet. So once I'm done with this section, I have like three more colors to do. And then I'll probably head off because, I mean, I gotta do some things before I get ready for my birthday. H is six. Yeah, I'm running low on these colors. Hey, Phyllis, we're about to end this live here, girl. Girly. You're, you're, you're catching the end of the love. No, well, that's good. It's okay. I mean, better late than never, right? You caught the live before I ended it, so you're not late. You're on time. You know, late me is you would have to do hashtag replay. You too, Phil. Phyllis. You can stay for a little bit. I'm not ending it just yet. If you want. Oh. Sorry, guys. My phone rang. Sorry about that. Yeah, I'm not really, I don't know what else to talk about. But I'm almost done with this section, and I'm probably going to end this live. I'm probably going to still be done with painting, you don't know me. I don't stop done with painting. I only have two more sections left of this done painting, and then I'm going to pull back out the fire truck and hat. There's a little page right there. Okay, and then I'll do the things. Sixteen. Thank you. Thank you, Sandy. You all have a good day, too, because, I mean, Friday. I was Miss Coffee likes to call it Friday.
like I said earlier in my live, I am going to put my PayPal link in the description. I gotta figure out how to do that. Um, if you want to, you can do a birthday gift, but you don't have to. Just say, just telling me happy birthday is good enough for me. Um, Hopefully my day is good. I mean, I got a couple gifts already. I don't know if Christy's still in here, but she sent me a Amazon gift card, which I really appreciate. I told her she didn't have to, but she said she wanted to. That's all I'm doing today is I'm going to demo paint for a little bit longer. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know yet. I got to go take a shower. I got to stop procrastinating. I hope you all have a good day. I'm about to wrap this up because I'm almost done with the section. This is got ease and one C to do. And E is. This thing is definitely blamed out. He is an I have more people have shown up. I'm about to be leaving. Uh, leaving so. I'm about to be ending this live, guys. You guys can hashtag replay. I just did a short little live. I don't know how long I've been live right now. Almost two hours. I guess it's not really that short. I guess it really wasn't that short of a life, but you guys all have a good day. I just got done with the section. Going on to the next section. Which I will do in a little bit. I need to do some things today. Hey guys, 
I'm going to end this live. You all have a good day. All right. Thank you, Phyllis. You have a great day, too. I'm going to end this, guys. Bye, guys. Have a great day.